When you set a relationship as an outer join, you're telling Axis to return all the records from one table and only the matching records from a related table. So if we were to have a query with two tables, a customer's table and an orders table, and then designate the relationship as a left outer join, meaning we're pulling all the records from the leftmost table, we're asking Axis to display all of our customers regardless of whether or not they've placed an order alongside those who have placed orders. So back in Axis, you can tell which kind of join you have by jumping back into the design view and looking at the table's relationship line. A solid line with no arrows like this means we have a standard inner join, which is the default join type in Axis. To change the join type, hover your mouse directly over that relationship line and then double click. That should bring up your join properties dialog box. And as of right now, we have option one selected, which states only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal. That is your inner join. Below, you'll see two other options. The second one states include all records from customers and only those records from orders where the join fields are equal. That's one kind of outer join. And then the third option down here is another kind of outer join, where it does exactly the same thing, only the tables themselves are reversed, pulling all the records from the orders table and then matching records from the customers table. Now for this particular query, we want to choose option two, which will pull all the records from the customers table. So choosing that option and then clicking OK, you can see our relationship line changes. So we have an arrow pointing to our orders table. And then when we run our query, we have a few more records showing up. We've got the bookstore, the company Never Too Dusty, which as we can see by an empty or null transaction date, they're a bookstore who has yet to place an order. Same thing with read books, same thing with onward till morning and so on. Now, if we really wanted to make this query useful and show only those customers who have yet to place orders, what we can do then is go back into design view and in the transaction date field, type the criteria is null. And that way, when we run it, only those customers who have not placed an order will appear. And that is really the main purpose of an outer join to show you what's not included in your typical query. And that is how you create an outer join. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.